Hello folks. I have another reveal for you. This is my second chipboard album. Let's see if I can get it all in the frame here. Um, it's titled Once Upon a Time. It's an album for a friend of mine who's leaving um, our place of work to go to a new position. And um, it's a gift for her. So um, once again, no tripod, so bear with me. Okay, so here's the front. Um, the ribbon is a various ribbon that I got at Joanne's and Michael's. It's um, the back ribbon. This one here was actually white and I sprayed it with um, Lindy Stamp, Stamp Gang um, bullion, gold, something like that. I can't remember. I have so many of them. And then the, um, the trim on the side was um, from Joanne Fabrics. It was a leftover. If I turn it this way, you could probably see it. Um, left over from something. It's actually from the upholstery section. And then the, um, the closure, the, um, the little loopy closure guy, um, oops, loops around like that. And this was also a um, Joanne Fabrics. It was on sale along with this pin. This had a pin back to it that I cut off for 50% off. Anyway, um, so I put the ribbon together um, mostly I started to hold the, uh, so it would hold the paper down. The paper just wasn't sticking. Anyway, um, Glossy Accents is my savior. It's the only thing that would hold this ribbon um, securely. Okay, so here we go. So inside the first page is a little pocket. I don't remember where this paper came from. There's a collection of papers here. Some, um, some of it's called A Colorful Life. I don't remember who the manufacturer is on that one. There's some Graphics 45 paper in here. Um, this may be a Graphics 45 page, but it's um, basically a text sort of print with some ribbon trim on the pocket here. And then the next page um, has a little pocket, um, and I'll show you what's inside. And this, I believe, is Graphics 45 paper. The um, bow is actually three ginkgo leaves glued together with a little prima flower on it. And then um, this little guy in the pocket here um, has a little little chipboard thing on the front, and I stamped the edges with a, a floral stamp. The paper is it's a beige paper, beige colored plain cardstock. It started as a 12 by 12 sheet, and I um, some space here. I sprayed it with um, the same Lindy Stamp Gang spray and then I've stamped all of the um, insets with different floral, um, a little upside down here, different floral um, pictures. So this whole thing starts as a 12 by 12 page and then I just um, squirt it and cut out the corners so it would fold like that. And then the um, inserts are punched with a couple different um, corner punches. And that's just a, a basil cardstock, a brown basil cardstock. And so that folds up like that. And then there's a ribbon, a dyed ribbon with that same um, Lindy Stamp Gang um, spray. And that ribbon is also dyed with the same thing. So that sits in there. Page two, or spread two. Let's see if we can sort of see that. So there's this really cool ribbon that um, I got from a friend of mine that was a pain in the butt to stick down, but once again, glossy accents to the rescue. And um, this paper is gorgeous. I don't know where I got it. I just had the sheet laying around. I wish I knew. It's got a pretty little bird and a, uh, a bird cage on a floral background. And then I made this little bird um, from the Tim Holtz die. Sorry, it's all dark. And he's got a little um, gem for a, an eye. And then in the corners of this ribbon, I added some little um, sticky brad things. They're not really brads, they just kind of stick on. You can see them in the corners there. Kind of sort of here, you can see it probably better on this side, right there. Um, and then uh, this little thing, it's just a little photo mat that um, is reversible and it sticks on top. It kind of covers up the little surprise bird nest there and it goes underneath the little birds. And I cut out this bird from um, some of the Colorful Life cardstock and then just backed it with another piece of cardstock, put a little gem on his eye. This side 
has a little um, chipboard element in the upper left corner, and it's got another bird that I cut out from the Colorful Life paper. This is a little Melody Ross clip. Let's see if I can get it in frame. This one says Dream Big, and it's just a little um, glass clip, which is pretty cool, very vintage looking. So behind this little thing here is another um, bird cage cut out from uh, Tim Holtz die cut on grunge board and embossed. You can see it, it's got kind of a pebble embossed surface. And then I made um, a little charm, a little bird charm there. And these little birds were cut out and kind of stuck in the cage and I just stuck some little pop dots behind it. And so this little thing, this is a la um, Kathy Orta. And um, it's made from envelopes and, so, and a card. So this was a part of the card that I cut, actually card cut in half. And this opens up and there's a photo mat there. And this is some um, Melody Ross paper that, uh, that I put on top of it. But the base of it is an envelope, or actually two envelopes from this card. Stuff, from this card. And I stamped it. It says it was the crown that set her apart from the others, added a couple crowns, and embossed it with Lindy's Stamp Gang Raspberry Zinger, Raspberry Sizzle, or something like that. And so you open this up, and there's another spread for uh, some photos, and another spread for some photos. And in between here are the tips of the envelopes that are glued together. And Kathy Orta has a wonderful video on it. Uh, the back of the photo mat. And then this one opens and the side says, Life's most beautiful things are not seen with the eyes but felt with the heart. I don't remember where these stamps came from. Um, and then there's a stamp of some eyes and some hearts and they're also embossed. And then room for another photo. And this side over here is a quote or a description, dictionary description of friend. And I just added some little Judykins stamp speckles on there. And then that gets stuck behind that bird. And I added... Um, some little birds on some red rocks from that paper as well. Okay, next page, more birds. Somehow birds were popular in this book. There's a little clip with some leaf trim on it that holds, helps hold this page in here that has a Tim Holtz die, die cut heart that's embossed with some swirls and sprayed with the Lindy Stamp Gang. And then this is a little photo mat page with that colorful life paper. And it's reversible, and it gets stuck in there. And then the clip goes back on, and I'll have to do that. And then there's a little photo mat stuck on that paper. There's some trim that I dyed with some red spray ink um, that has little flowers on it and little pearls in the middle. And then on this side, uh, I did some ribbon across the bottom. If you can see it, let me tip it up here. Um, some, let's do that. So there's some ribbon across the bottom. It's a um, just kind of a chiffon -y ribbon with this um, black beaded um, rose petal kind of thing, which apparently is coming off. More glossy accents needed. And that holds in this little photo mat here, which is also reversible. It's the same picture on either side, and I put a little tag in there. It's a little KC. Casey Company, Kane Company tag. And that just sticks in there, and then there's another one of those little flowers that I colored. Okay, this page is just gorgeous. This is um, paper from, I believe it's Melody Ross, the 8x8 pack, and you can see this trim around the edges. I don't know where I got it, but it's got little rosebuds on it, and it's sort of a a taupey gold color and it's beautiful and I just could cry that I don't know remember where I got it. Um, a little photo mat that I cut with a, um, a punch, um, an edge punch. And then over here is a prima flower. You can see that one of those very three-dimensional beautiful prima flowers. And um, I think it's a Stampland stamp, that rose. Um, and again that paper is just gorgeous. Okay, then this page is more Melody Ross background paper. I think it's Melody Ross. And then I just cut out this page and added a couple little photo mats in there. Stuck on a Prima Butterfly. And then cut out the word bliss out of that paper. And then this folds down in a stamp that says live, love, and laugh. That's embossed with uh, Ranger Verdigree Antiquities embossing powder. 
And over here, I made a little, um, a little window sort of thing out of this paper. Um, and I added some ribbon. The ribbon was white. I colored it with Alpine Rose Lindy Stamp Gang Spray and another Prima Butterfly. And then this page is Graphics 45 with some Tim Holtz um, tickets. And pretty much there isn't probably a paper in here that I didn't edge with um, either tea dye ink or um, frayed burlap ink. So these aren't edged because they're so dark, but Graphics 45 paper on a dark brown mat, slightly different paper. This is from the Curtain Call collection. This is from the Botanicals collection. And then these are from a Kathy Orta video. I just learned how to do that. And it's the same thing on this side. This comes out. It's the same paper on that side. And then the back um, is relatively simple. So this person is going on a new adventure. So it's the, this is the um, Once Upon a Time card stack. I think it's by Die Cuts with a View. Um, and some of the other paper in the front, I think, was from there as well. Um, and this is off on an adventure, and there's a knight in shining armor, and it's got lots of gold glitter on it. And this is also from that same stack, that paper. And then I had this um, beaded trim that I added to the top of it. And then the back of it is, I um, don't remember where this paper came from, and more of that ribbon, and then that's just the closure just kind of starts over there. And the card that I made to go with it, I used some of the new Die Cuts with a View fabric paper. Um, the fabric paper is the pink on the background, so this edge here, the pink on the background, is the fabric paper. This is actually from a mat that I think is Kay, it's Kane Company, and I love that paper. And then I cut out with the fabric paper, two different kinds of fabric paper, the solid pink and the pink floral. I cut out the heart um, and the wings with the Tim Holtz die cut. And then I put, um, <clears throat> it's not actually stickles, it's called holographic glitter glue. I think I got it from um, stencil, the stencil girls, the ones that make those stencils <clears throat> a long time ago. And uh, inside, so there's, and then on the front of the card, both of these are popped up with um, Pop Dots Great. I just stuck my finger in the wet stickles. Um, the, <clears throat> see, the text says, when I count my blessings, I count my friends. It's embossed with the Lindy Stamp Gang, um, I think it's called Razzleberry. Razzleberry Plum, that's what it is. And then in here, I have um, sort of a shimmery paper that I actually got at Walmart. I don't know who makes it with a little brad with a castle and then there's a little brad with a magic wand at the bottom and on the envelope there's another little castle well, this is a craft paper card so you see the envelope is craft paper and then I took another one of the mats the um, Kane Company mats and made the inside of the envelope so that's it that's my second chipboard album so proud thanks for watching